Hi everybody, this is Cindy with Crane the Heart, and I'm back with another one of my, I don't know if I want to call it a, a use it or lose it or a stash buster Christmas type video. And that is where I'm digging deep and I'm getting out the stuff that I have bits and pieces of collections and that I'm kind of over. I'm kind of over, but I want to just see if I can use it lose it. Some pieces I've lost. I've decided to put in my in a stash because I just am not going to get to it. For example, I have the Merry Days tag kit. I'm not even going to open that up. I'm going to put it in a stash because um, I made plenty of tags um, on my own without that kit. So those sorts of things. I have a couple other pieces, same thing. I'm like, oh, am I going to use this? Am I really going to use this other chipboard? And the answer is no, I'm not going to use this other chipboard. So I went ahead and um, this light is just, there we go, make it better. Um, I just decided that it's time to let it go. So, um, and in my last video, I talked about sometimes we get on the bandwagon and we get we get a lot of pieces of stuff because it's the end thing and then you discover you don't totally love it. You don't hate it, but you don't love it. And it's kind of how I'm feeling about some of the stuff that I have. And Mary Days is one of those. And Snow Cocoa was another. I enjoyed creating with it. I enjoyed making things with it. Um, but I didn't love it. It wasn't my favorite thing. So um, it's done. It's out. I'm done. Um, I have a a video, I think, a series, and I think it culminates with a giveaway. I don't know if this is going to be in time for the giveaway or not. Um, I'm also doing a card giveaway. So if you'd like a card, Christmas card from me, email me at scoop71 at yahoo.com with your mailing address, and I will mail out a card to you. All right, so I'm continuing on with uh, Merry Days, and then also I'm using um, these gold sort of puffy thickers that I also got from Tuesday morning. I also got a bunch of snowflakes. I'm using those, so I'm really digging, digging deep. So um, here is another uh, using Merry Days, and what I've been doing, so I don't have a lot of the paper, is I've been, I will cut just a small portion of paper to put on my card and leave the rest with white space and then just kind of fill that white space. And I am liking how how some of these are coming out. Now these are both from the chipboard and then we have the gold snowflake. This one I was like, the idea was I was making like my own sort of uh, background paper with this, but also I was thinking it like had that rifle paper feel to it almost. Like it felt like, I don't know if you guys have seen rifle paper that have a teeny tiny little images. So that's kind of what I was going with for. I don't know if I was successful, but it's just kind of random stuff right there. And then um, here's another Merry Days. And then this one says Ho, Ho, Ho. Um, and then now it's just like the last bits and pieces of the chipboard that are left. So what do you do? Um, and so here I just used it along with the puffy stickers. And here's another. And then this is from, I think, a Webster's stuff I got in a grab box like a bazillion years ago. It says, always believe. And then I use a similar sticker here. May all your holidays be bright. I love your houses. And then um, altering tags. So I I have these pre-made tags that I had in my stash that I just went ahead and um, altered. I had these American Crafts random pieces of stuff. So I went ahead and put them right there on top of these tags and uh, just kind of jazzed them up a tiny bit. That's a little Merry Day sticker. This little Merry Day's mittens. So, um, and the other thing that I had in my stash is I had these um, flare, which is kind of an in thing right now, but I'd had them in my stash forever. So um, all I did was I had these, um, I don't know, snowflake, I don't know, they're pretty thick, these snowflake pieces in my collection. I guess they're like ornaments. I'm going to use them as, um, tags and all I did was glue those flare to the middle of them and then the back I just glued a label on there so that I can just use those as tags so thank you very much for watching this is Cindy of Paint the Heart